This rich girl helped a homeless black man not knowing who he was. When she discovered the truth about him, she cried. Samantha, 31, was a wealthy businesswoman who was living the dream. Everything about her stood out. Her stunning height, her gorgeous hazel eyes, and her alluring smile. However, her sparkling smile masked a deep void within her heart. Long ago, she had lost her childhood sweetheart Liam, the one who had filled her days with laughter and warmth. Liam and Samantha were driving home late one night after a friend's birthday party when a tragedy struck. A drunk driver careened into their car, the impact crashing heavily into the driver's side. Samantha, seated in the back, miraculously escaped unharmed. Frantically, she stumbled out of the wreckage and raced to Liam. Trapped in the driver's seat, his blood pooling around him, their gazes locked, and though Liam was too weak to talk, his sorrowful eyes conveyed a heartbreaking message. They assured Samantha that he would always love her and that he would always be there for her. As he took his last breath in her arms, Samantha kissed his forehead and whispered, I will never let you go. You will always be in my heart. This loss left an unfillable hole in Samantha's soul and she carried the pain like a silent burden. She became a distant dream, and she decided not to open her heart again, refusing to feel such loss ever again. One thing brought Samantha joy though, being kind and compassionate. Samantha would often go out of her way to help the needy, widows and orphans. And it was a kind act that led her to a 36-year-old homeless black man, whose eyes held so much sorrow and longing. Samantha was in her limousine driving past a busy road when Liam, who was sitting by the roadside, caught her attention. Samantha had seen many homeless men on this road, but something was different about this one. He just sat still, staring into space. He looked lost, hopeless, and confused. Unlike the other homeless men sitting beside him, this man had nice, shiny skin. His hair was well-groomed, and apart from his tattered clothes, that had seen better days, he looked handsome. What a poor soul, Samantha thought and drove past him, but when she looked at him again through the rear mirror, she felt as if his soul was calling out to her, desperately begging for help. Curiosity immediately washed over her and she decided to have a chat with the man. Samantha's heart pounded as she approached the homeless man and sat beside him. Surprisingly, her presence got him scared and he quickly moved away. Without thinking, Samantha went after him. She grabbed his hands and said, I'm here to help. I won't hurt you. Unfortunately, her actions only scared him more, and he shouted, Leave me alone, before disappearing from her sight. Throughout the day, Samantha couldn't stop thinking about the man. She wondered why a young and energetic man like him was begging on the streets. She became even more curious and decided to learn about his past. What she would discover would change both their lives. But first, Samantha knew she had to gain his trust. The following day, Samantha prepared fresh clothes and food, determined to find the beggar she had encountered the day before in the bustling park. However, upon arriving, he was nowhere to be seen. Undeterred, Samantha made up her mind to wait patiently for his arrival. The minutes ticked away, and the homeless man was still nowhere in sight. Anxiety crept into Samantha's heart as she pondered his absence. Had he gone to a different spot? Or had something bad happened to him? As the clock neared 9.30 p.m., Samantha, feeling tired, reluctantly decided to leave. Just as she got up, a feeble figure stumbled toward her. Her eyes widened with shock as she realized that it was the homeless man. Without hesitation, she rushed towards him and he collapsed onto her shoulders, devoid of any strength. The pungent odor of alcohol emanated from him and blood trickled from his battered face and blackened eyes. Samantha figured out that he had been involved in a very nasty fight. What happened to you? Are you all right? Samantha panicked. Some bad guys attacked me on my back. They stabbed me. Oh, it's you. 
Why are you here again? Please, let me be. Just go, the homeless man whispered weakly, attempting to break free from her grasp. You can run away all you want, but I won't abandon you in this state. Samantha said firmly. With a strong grip, she assisted him into her car and drove to the nearest clinic. Samantha generously covered the cost of his treatments and dutifully visited him, despite the homeless man's persistent refusal to speak. On the third day, Samantha, as usual, brought clothes and food for the homeless man. As she got up to leave, he unexpectedly grasped her hands. He gazed intently into her eyes and whispered, Thank you. Samantha smiled and stared at his hands, and that was when she noticed a glimmering object adorning his finger. It was a ring, crafted from real gold. Overwhelmed with curiosity, Samantha firmly gripped his hand and asked, Where did you get this? But the homeless man simply said, No idea. Samantha pressed further, asking about his origin and his name, but he had no answers. It was then that Samantha realized that her intuition about the man was correct. She had always known that something about him seemed off. This man indeed was a homeless person, who had no recollection of his memory. What had happened to him in the past? Who were his family? Were they looking for him? Samantha wondered. More than ever, she became curious to dig into Liam's dark past but nothing at all could have prepared her for the mystery she was about to uncover. Before embarking on this quest, Samantha arranged for a brain scan to confirm the homeless man's memory loss. The test results indicated that he had likely suffered an accident or a fall, resulting in his amnesia. Furthermore, a scar on his shoulder reinforced the doctor's belief that he had indeed been involved in an accident. So Samantha hired a well-experienced private investigator to look into Liam's past. In the days that followed, a beautiful connection blossomed between Samantha and the homeless man. Their encounters at the hospital became moments of pure magic, where time seemed to stand still. As each day unfolded, Samantha realized that the homeless man had become her constant thought. She yearned to be by his side, as if destiny had woven their fates together long before they met. She found herself falling deeply, irrevocably in love, captivated by the man's spirit. Yet amidst the intoxicating allure of this newfound love, Samantha's heart was heavy with a sense of guilt. She couldn't help but feel torn, as if she were betraying the promise she made to her childhood sweetheart Liam. So one day, she did something shocking. Samantha went to the hospital and met Liam asleep. She left a huge amount of money by his bedside and a note that read, Have a good life. Don't come looking for me. A few months flew past and Samantha became a shadow of herself. She yearned for the homeless man, but each day she remembered the accident scene and the promise she made to her childhood friend never to love any other man. Little did Samantha know, fate had its own plans for her. One cold morning, Samantha was indoors when she heard a knock on the door. She went to get it, and you won't believe who was standing outside the door. It was the homeless man, dressed in some of the clothes she had gotten for him. I have been looking everywhere for you. I finally found you, the homeless man said without thinking. Samantha pulled him into the house and she kissed him with so much passion. The homeless man also responded with much intensity. They were still in each other's arms when Samantha's phone suddenly rang. It was the private investigator she had hired. I found out who he is. His name is Liam Rodriguez, the private investigator said. Samantha sank to the ground, her heart pounding in her chest as the private investigator told her everything he had discovered about the homeless man. Liam Rodriguez was believed to be dead by his family members after they had searched in vain for him for three years. He was heir to a vast fortune and was threatened by family members. The private investigator concluded that Liam's family had a hand in his disappearance and memory loss. During his research, the private investigator gathered several photos of Liam, including his house, parents, family, childhood pictures, and every necessary thing that could help trigger his memory. Samantha, 
while in tears, immediately told Liam what the private investigator had found. Even though he had no idea what she was talking about, he trusted her and agreed to go for rehabilitation training to regain his memory. Throughout Liam's recovery process, Samantha stood by his side. Their love continued to burn and Liam helped Samantha recover from her unhealed wounds. Don't you think it's a beautiful miracle that my name is also Liam? Maybe your childhood sweetheart, Liam, sent you my way so I can guide, protect and be with you. Liam said one sunny morning and Samantha laughed heartily. She had finally made peace with the fact that it was okay to try to love again despite her tragic relationship. As months passed, Liam slowly began to regain his memory. Little by little, he recollected everything about his horrifying past. You see, Liam's younger brother, Sam, had lured him to go on an adventurous trip with him outside their country, while they were outdoors having fun in the mountains. Sam pushed Liam and he immediately fled the scene, thinking he had died. Although Liam had miraculously survived the fall, he lost his memory. Months after making a full recovery, Liam returned to his country and reclaimed his status as the heir to his father's fortune. His younger brother, Sam, was also arrested and sentenced to prison. So what happened to Samantha and Liam? Something magical. The duo got married and a year later, they welcomed a set of twins. What do you think about Liam and Samantha's love story? Thank you for watching.